hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create a Gantt chart so what is a Gantt chart first so let us see that so a Gantt chart is a graphical depiction of a project schedule it is a type of bar chart that shows the start and finish dates of several elements of a project that include resources milestone tasks and dependencies so we are going to see how to create a Gantt chart so here I have opened a website called Gantter.com tter.com okay so you can go to this website the link will be given in the description so you have to click on this start your free trial here and we are using Gantor for Google Drive now so let's click on this start free trial and here Gantor project man add to Chrome so we're not going to add it we're just saying visit website and here it is asking for the authentication to connect with our Gmail and I am giving it allow so here it can create edit from your drive so that's the permission it is asking for click I agree and continue here it's asking to name our project I'm going to say it's an e-shop okay e-commerce shop something like that let's save and you can just close this so here we have to give our tasks and here we'll get the Gantt chart for that let us start with that gathering information okay so for this I'm going to allot five days click enter and we'll just move this so you can see from today date so it is 25th so from 25th till third of the third month that is March it has allocated here and we have got this bar over here so we'll go to the next step that will be the designing face so let's say designing face and for this let us keep five days enter and the next step will be front-end design okay so for this let us keep 10 days and keep 10 days you can remove this question mark okay and the next thing will be the backend coding backend coding and let's keep 20 days for this so it's going to be 20 days the testing part so here let's keep testing and this will be for let us keep five days for testing so five days and lastly let us give the documentation Good documentation and here let's keep five days for the documentation okay so now we have got this bar chart so let me minimize this and you will find it over here so you can see all this is starting on the same date you can see in this also it is 25th of second month once this first task is finished we have to start with the second task so how do we assign it that way so you have to go under this column and double click on this so just click on don't show again got it and here this is the first column right by default so let us click on the second row that is designing phase should be after the gathering information so double click on this so you can see add this gathering information finish once it is finished you will get this this will start so you can see the date is arranged automatically so now this front end phase will start of the designing phase so double click on this and click on designing save and you have got it like that so if you want you can keep these two things on the same date if you have a partner who is doing it so after the designing phase both these things will start simultaneously so what we are doing is we are just arranging one after the other so let us keep it that way so once the front end design is done then we have to start with the back end code so it's going too big so let us just minimize it once again okay so the next thing testing that should be done after the backend coding so let us add that save and finally the documentation that should be done after the testing part so click on save and you got this okay so now we have different members doing this so we have to add the resources so what do you have to do is just double click on this bar and under resources you can click add and say resource name and say om give my full name om prakash say om at gmail.com 
can just leave all this empty click on save add another so let's say ram ram at gmail.com and just save okay so the first thing the gathering information om prakash is doing so let us click on save so this resource is allocated for this part so the second part the other partner is doing so you can just select that one and click save and the designing and backend code both are doing together so you can just check both the partners name you can check it over there save and you can see both the names is allocated over here similarly for everything we can do the same way so i'll do it quickly and we have added it over here so here we have got our gantt chart with our project name is over here so you can save it to your google drive you'll get it directly in your google drive so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again